Good morning, today we have an ASUS F555L laptop. Um, it's a client's brand new laptop. So, commonly we find with these brand new computers that they ship with a really crappy hard drive. So today we're going to do disassembly just to get to the point of removing the hard drive. And then you can put in your own custom drive like SSD or um, mechanical drive, you know, whatever you want to put in place. So let's just remove these screws. Now this is a common procedure, say you've got a failed hard drive or in this instance it's a brand new computer so it's just purely for a performance upgrade and reliability um, but if your computer's got a failed hard disk then it makes perfect sense rather than replacing the computer just to change out the disk, put in a new one Under this panel here is the memory. Uh, we don't need to get in there today, but if you're doing an upgrade, you can actually just peel off this little cover with a knife and then just one screw, then you've got access to the memory banks. So, um, okay. So I find it's easiest if you put it on its side. Now we need to adjust the camera here. Give me one second. I find it's easiest if you put the camera on, it's sort of leaning like this and you can use something like, I'm using my time zone power card, but an old credit card and you can actually just, if you can see there, you sort of, under the DVD ROM, just sort of get a bit of an edge on it, then you can put the card in. and try not to scratch the bezel and then you run the card along and you'll see it'll pry open now if we just turn it on its side trying not to scratch the bezel as you go around the whole unit now this one's already been opened once so this is probably a little bit looser yours might be quite tight but you might have to actually really kind of push it to get the clips to release. Once you've got a few of them, you'll find this bezel will just come right up. But now it's important not to pull it too quickly because as you can see, you got the motherboard, you've got the video uh, keyboard cable and the trackpad cable connected. So you wanna reach in, unhi unhinge that and then same on here, that'll just flip up and the cable comes out and you can remove the trackpad and the keyboard so yeah from there you can see you got the hard drive uh, connected covered by the USB and audio connector jack so you just remove well let's unclip this cable first Pull that back and we can remove the hard drive screws. I try not to lose any of the screws. Now this one's also held down by this USB board, so you'll need to unscrew it here. and this will just pop out which 
freeze your hard drive. Now, which you can then just remove your screws from there, 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 there. Put in the new disc. Now, as you can see, it's a WD Black. The original was a, let's see, Samsung one terabyte. Yeah, the Samsung one terabyte is a reasonable drive, but we wanted to put in the Western Digital uh, in this instance. So, but you might do a solid state Samsung Pro, something like that, would be fantastic. And that will get you even quicker. But if you need a lot of you know, storage capacity, then obviously a larger drive would be a good choice. So, sorry, USB board goes back in first. Now these clips, you've got to be careful with them, you don't want to snap them. Because <clears throat> if you snap either the keyboard or the trackpad clips, then you'll have to replace the motherboard. So they just fold up gently. Cable goes in. And same on the other opposite side, just gently lift it up. slide in and clip down. the keyboard can go back on so the clip up the connector just slides in and then pops down and it'll just sit in there Sorry for this, I'm sitting on a weird angle compared to how I normally do it. Um, oh, slides in. Once again, that clip just pops down. And then that's in. And then you can just close it up, press it together. You hear all the, all the clips crack together. Now this drive's already been set up with Windows, so um, yeah, we'll just turn it on. Make sure it's all working. Before you put all the screws in. 
and you can see that we've got no trackpad. Which means we have to open it up again. It should be quite easy if you don't put it on properly yet. And this connector. Bear with me one second. Just make sure you get it right in that little clip. Test that one last time, that should be fine. And we now have a working mouse. Cool. Now obviously with a fresh hard drive, you're not gonna have any Windows installed on it. So if it's Windows 8, your license information will be built into the BIOS. You'll need to go through the standard Windows install, um, which you'll be able to find the ISOs, ISO images online and get that installed without too much trouble. Um, from here, it's just a matter of putting all the screws back in. Um, yeah, and you can do that. Just put them back where they came from um, in all the right spots. And yeah, if you have trouble, feel free to sing out. Obviously, this one voids your warranty because opening up a brand new computer. So only do it if you're you're comfortable and sure that's what you want to do. Um, yeah, so particularly in new laptops with which have Samsung hard drive is fine, but some of them ship with like you know, some other less favorable brands and models of hard drive that can be slow and unreliable. Uh, we won't go into selection of which hard drive you want to use, but if you want to change from the standard drive, then yeah, definitely rec recommend this procedure. Cool. Um, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe. This is actually my first video, and I'm hoping to do a lot of these. We work on a lot of laptops here, so hopefully um, I'll be able to help you with your model laptop soon. Great, and thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.